Uh, I've been involved with art uh, since I was a young kid. Uh, my family has always been heavily involved with the arts, graphic arts. So I initially went to a recruiter's office. I said I wanted to join and serve my country. The counselor there that kind of helps you, guide you through the contract, uh, noticed the type of way that I signed my name. He told me, hey, you want to go see this other job that uh, we have available? Luckily for me, I was able to, uh, to get that job. My name is Master Sergeant uh, Juan Munoz and I am the U.S. Army artist. Yes, it's a, it's a huge sense of pride, you know, first off, to be able to serve in this capacity. At first, I had a big sense of, of uh, pressure. I, I felt like I, when I got in this position, I'm in charge of capturing the three to four year timeline while I'm assigned here of the history of the Army. Uh, but as I you know, got more familiarized and, and started developing the art. It's more about telling those individual stories. For a combat artist, uh, our focus, although you want to create a finished product, of course, our focus is more about the storytelling of what the piece is going to do and how it relates to our soldiers. So how we capture that soldier's story and then how we can tell it and capture it for the history of the army. Capturing uh, something such as a piece that I did titled Specialist Perez in Baghdad, uh, a lot of soldiers can relate to that. A lot of soldiers can relate to what it's like to sit on a watchtower and pull guard, you know, 12 hours a day, you know, for a full year of a deployment. And, and you know, just how sometimes it can be mundane, sometimes it can be harsh, uh, but at the same time, uh, you know, we're all serving our country in some capacity.